Mercedes Maybach G650 Landolette to act as swan song to current G-Class. The range-topping variant of the existing G-Class is set for a Geneva debut early next month, due on sale in late 2017. The Mercedes Maybach G650 Landolette, a range-topping version of Mercedes G-Class, will act as a farewell to the current generation model when it goes on sale later this year. The plush four-seater military-grade SUV is the latest in a burgeoning number of high-priced models from the German car maker's revived Maybach sub-brand. Set to make its public debut at the Geneva Motor early next month, the 621 BHP twin-turbocharged 6.0-liter V12 powered limousine cum off-roader foreshadows the launch of a heavily upgraded version of the 38-year-old G-Class later this year. It features a semi-convertible roof structure similar in style to that adopted by the Maybach 62 Landolette launched in 2007. Based around a long wheelbase G-Class with a widened body, modified running gear and portal axle chassis from both the G636X6 and more recently introduced G5004X4 Superscript 2, the four-door G650 Landolette stretches to 5,345 mm in length, 2,110 mm in width and a generous 2,335 mm in height. The fifth in the current range of Maybach models also rides on a wheelbase of 3,428 mm or some 258 mm longer than the long wheelbase S-Class, which forms the basis of similarly luxurious Mercedes Maybach S65. Entry to the G650 Landolette's leather-lined cabin is via a running board, which hinges from underneath the doors. Inside, the latest member of the Maybach lineup provides seating for four, with the electronically adjustable individual rear seats borrowed from the S-Class mounted well back to free up legroom. While the driver and front seat passenger are accommodated under a fixed steel roof, the rear seat passengers can choose to go top-down, at the press of a button the fabric rear section retracts back and stows behind the rear seats above the luggage compartment. In keeping with the limousine roots of the Maybach brand, there's also an electrically operated glass partition separating the front section of the cabin from the rear, which can be changed from transparent to opaque. Additionally, the individual rear seats, borrowed from the S-Class Pullman with inflatable air chambers and hot stone massaging function, can be set to a fully reclined position. There are also retractable tables integrated in the rear middle console, while the an additional cross member, used to hold the glass partition, houses two 10.0 inch monitors as part of a comprehensive infotainment system. Power for the G650 Landolette comes from the same twin turbocharged 6.0 liter V12 petrol engine used by the G65, with 621 bhp at 5000 rpm and vast 737 pounds foot of torque between 2300 and 4300 rpm. The heady reserves are sent through a standard 7-speed torque converter equipped automatic gearbox featuring a separate transfer case with low-range gearing and a heavy-duty four-wheel drive system featuring three separate differential locks, which can be engaged on the move. No performance claims for the G650 Landolette have yet been revealed, though the more on-road biased G65 dispatches 62 miles per hour from standstill in 5.3 SEC on boasts an electronically limited top speed of 143 miles per hour. Reflecting the G-Class's off-road heritage, the G650 Landolette receives a heavy-duty portal axle chassis originally developed for the G636X6 and also used by the G5004X4 Superscript 2. The wheels are not mounted at the same height of the axle but rather situated lower owning to the adoption of portal transmission at each end, providing the new Maybach with huge 450mm of ground clearance and allowing the fitment of 22-inch wheels shod with 325-55 profile tires as standard. Set to be produced in a limited run of 99 at Magna Stairs manufacturing facility in Graz, Austria, the G650 Landolette is described as the most expensive G-Class model yet. Pricing is yet to be announced though officials say it will top that of the G636X6, 
which was also offered in limited numbers at a starting price of 480,000 euros back in 2014.